Hi guys, Assalamu Alaikum. I hope you all are doing fine. Today I'll be sharing with you all a very easy and delicious recipe of hummus, which is a chickpea dip or sauce. It is a Middle Eastern and Mediterranean meze or appetizer and can be served as a side dish as well. And you can make it very easily with a few ingredients at home. So let's see how you can do that. Let's start. Today we'll be making some hummus, a very easy recipe. I'll be showing all the ingredients to you. It's very easy to make and you can have it on hand uh, anytime you want it, you can have it. It can be kept in the refrigerator for a few days and goes uh, well with a lot of things. So for hummus, of course we'll be needing hummus. Hummus is uh, uh, garbanzo beans or chickpeas in Arabic. We'd be needing some boiled chickpeas. Uh, I have boiled them at home, but you can use canned uh, chickpeas as well. I just added a little bit of salt, soak them uh, for a few hours. You can soak them overnight as well. Uh, but make sure that when you are soaking them overnight, better to keep them in the refrigerator because sometimes the water just spoils. So it's best to, you know, refrigerate them or to put them at a cool place. So to uh, chickpeas, to make hummus, of course, we'll be needing some tahini. Uh, or tahina in Arabic. Tahini is a sesame uh, paste. Um, you can get it very easily uh, at stores. Uh, even it's now easily available in Pakistan, you can get very easily at any grocery store. But if you don't have it on hand, you can take some sesame seeds, roast them, and then grind them without adding any liquid or oil. Uh, they will release their own oil and you have your tahini paste ready. But uh, to be honest, it's very easily available and it's not really expensive as well. And one bottle lasts you for long. But if you want to try it, uh, uh, try hummus for the first time and you don't want to uh, buy the whole bottle, you can make some uh, tahini at home yourself. So after that, we'll be needing uh, some garlic cloves, this is some olive oil, some fresh lemon juice. A lot of lemon juice goes to uh, our hummus, but uh, depending on how sour you want it, you can uh, you know, control the uh, acidity as much as you want. Some cumin seed powder, and that's some water that I reserved from boiling the chickpeas. Um, uh, we'll be using it if we'd be needing to make our hummus a little thin and if it goes too um, you know, solid, uh, it will help us in uh, grinding and blending the hummus as well. So let's start uh, by make, mixing everything together and let's make our hummus together. One thing I'd like to add about chickpea water, it's also known as aqua fava, which is very beneficial. And for those who want to avoid any kind of dairy uh, and are on plant-based diet like vegan or gluten-free, uh, it's very good for them. You can make a lot of desserts with this uh, as well. It's uh, uh, You can say that it can be substituted as egg whites because uh, uh, when you whip them, they turn really foamy and airy. Uh, like when you whip it, sorry. So good for those who are on that diet. Now to make our hummus, we'll be needing a chopper. You can do it in a blender, but I feel that uh, it's more easy to do this in chopper. So first we're going to put our garlic cloves along with some reserved water from boiling the chickpeas and uh, we'll just uh, give it a whiz so that, uh, you know, it's uh, chopped. And then uh, we're going to add our chickpeas. Uh, not all of them, we are going to reserve them and uh, just a little bit for garnishing. Um, that's optional, but uh, I like to uh, garnish uh, my hummus with some chickpeas as well. So make sure that your chickpeas are not uh, uh, hot, they are um, warm or at room temperature, that's fine. But it's uh, well and good if they are like cold. So I'm simply going to add all of the ingredients in no particular order. Uh, just uh, that we're going to blend everything together till it's blended fine and it's smooth and you know it turns uh, 
like uh, pale in color as well the more you're going to add uh, uh, the acid it's going to react with the sesame paste and it's going to uh, become lighter uh, uh, please make sure that you don't add uh, any water if it's not needed because otherwise your um, hummus is going to turn runny and uh, that's not the right consistency of the hummus i did add a little bit of reserved water from the chickpea uh, you know boiling chickpeas uh, because it was getting a little hard for me to um, chop my hummus in the blender so you know uh, to give uh, the, uh, a little rest to the machine it's better to add a little um, uh, moisture or a liquid so that uh, it the you know it's not hard for the machine to make uh, uh, turn it into the paste like consistency so that's how it looks if you want you can add a little more um or uh, sorry uh, lemon juice if uh, you can taste it at this point um, you know the you can control the acidity and uh, salt uh, as well i did not add any salt because uh, uh, the sesame paste has salt in it and later we are going to serve it along with some other um, uh, condiments and uh, uh, along with some other um, items so that's why i'm not uh, you know the savory items so that's why i prefer not to add extra salt so i put it out in a serving dish and let it cool um, completely in the fridge uh, so that it settles down and it's set for a couple of hours and now it's time to um, garnish our hummus. I'm going to garnish it with the, the ingredients that you can see. There is some sumac. Uh, sumac is a, a Mediterranean, uh, Mediterranean uh, Middle Eastern um, herb. It is a bit uh, uh, tangy. If you don't have it on hand, it's fine. Uh, but, uh, you know, it does give you uh, not just a good flavor, but a good look as well. And it's very beneficial for health. So I'm just uh, going to first smooth the my hummus from the top to make a little you know um kind of uh, some you know indentation so that i can uh, place my chickpeas there um you can see that i'm doing that uh and uh, just uh, you know as much as you want i just like to put uh, more because it does give a texture to our hummus and uh, then i'm going to um pour some or olive oil on top of it this is a uh, basil infused uh, extra virgin uh, olive oil you can use um, you know uh, just extra virgin or just you know um, regular olive oil whatever you have not uh, have it on hand uh, you can use vegetable oil as well if you don't have uh, olive oil but traditionally uh, it's used then I'm going to uh, sprinkle some sumac on top and then uh, we'll be decorating with some uh, uh, whole uh, pitted black olives as well as uh, some uh, chili powder. I'll show you that how I'm going to make some pattern with the chili powder. It's going to give a little heat to our hummus um, along with the, uh, you know, the acidity and the other, uh, uh, you know, coolness. There is, uh, uh, it balances with the, some uh, heat uh, which we, uh, we prefer uh, if you don't want to add chili powder you can add uh, paprika uh, just to add color uh, and you know if you want to avoid any heat so there you can see that in one bowl I have some water and with the a fork I'm going to dip the fork in the water first and then in the chili powder and just going to you know uh, make a pattern like that I hope you understand that how I'm doing it just place uh, the fork on the hummus and slide away and you will be able to achieve um, you know that pattern it's going to give a, a beautiful look uh, there's another you know traditional um, dish in which they serve hummus I do not have it but uh, you know if uh, you guys have it of course you can serve it in that it's a very beautiful clay uh, uh, and uh, you know pot uh, just like uh, we have uh, traditional pottery in Pakistan, they of course have uh, in uh, Arab culture uh, their own utensils and it looks very nice and more traditional when you can serve, uh, you know, these dishes in their uh, cultural dishes. So now I'm just going to place uh, the olives uh, in the places where, you know, 
there isn't any other garnishing and uh, that's how it looks that uh, that uh, is the final look guys and uh, that's how i garnished uh, it there's another way which i'm going to show you in the next clip that i garnished uh, the hummus uh, i had that day some green olives on hand so i used green olives along with uh, the rows of samak i made that uh, and uh, you know those rows and just to give uh, a little beautiful pattern and then we served our hummus with some falafel i've already uh, shared the recipe of falafel on my channel uh, last week uh, you can have a look uh, at the recipe i'm going to link it here along with the eggplants that i make at home uh, they're pickled uh, if you want uh, the recipe you can please uh, comment down below and uh, i can make uh, the recipe uh, some other time and we'll be uh, definitely sharing here there are, are some uh, fresh vegetables some uh, pickled vegetables along with pita and uh, that's how we like to have our meal there in this clip you can see some baba ganoush as well inshallah next time when i make baba ganoush i'm going to share that with you guys as well it's another a brinjal or a plant based dish which is really delicious so that's all for now guys i hope you really like this recipe we'll be giving it a try and we'll be leaving feedback as always all of the ingredients and their measurements along with all of my social media handles are mentioned in the description box below i shall be back with more in the meantime take good care of yourself and of your loved ones and don't forget the less privileged ones bye for now allah hafiz